Hey YouTube, Sunday afternoon. Just finished work a couple hours ago. Um, this is gonna be a part two of that uh, my first AR build video. Um, it's complete. Um, fired about 120 rounds out of it last week at the indoor range. No problems whatsoever. Um, I did remove the carry handle and got this flip up rear side on it. Um, you know, this thing. My hand is, doesn't even fit in the carry handle, for one thing. I've got a good deal on it, it's like 16 bucks shipped. So I took that off, put that flip up iron sight on there. And uh, the, uh, my intention of this build was to have a lightweight AR 15. And it weighs in at 6 pounds, 9 ounces without a magazine. Um, so yeah, it's fun to shoot. I got the uh, Geisley trigger. Um, really soft trigger pull oh, I'm just gonna take the safety off nice real nice pull on that um, yeah like I said on that last video I have a spikes tactical lower receiver that I had sitting in the safe for about a year and a half so I finally started ordering some parts and I kind of went crazy with the credit card <laughs> Uh, I bought that nickel boron bolt first um, and then from Palmetto State Armory I got the whole complete upper it was like 220 bucks shipped um, got the Magpul stock on there uh, what else hoe grip and that's about it I, I really like the weight of this thing it's really light um, I've been more of an AK guy, and I got a milled AK. It's pretty heavy. Also, my first AR-15 that I've, I've had for about five years, which I got totally screwed on this deal. But uh, this thing's pretty heavy. It weighs about two pounds more than this one. And since I got totally screwed on this deal, um, I've had a kind of a bad taste in my mouth on this rifle for a while. So I wanted to build one that I like better, which I do. So, I'm gonna use this rifle now. I like it a lot. I'm gonna take it up to Tennessee. I'm gonna shoot at that indoor range. and I'd rather shoot outdoors. So, uh, I'm gonna bring it up to Tennessee. We're gonna shoot the hell out of it up there. But yeah, I like the looks of it. I'm not sure, uh, I think the only thing I'm gonna get for this is a sling now. Um, I don't know, I'm probably going to go with a two-point sling, so we'll see what happens with that. Or maybe I'll take my sling off my other rifle, put it on this one. I just need to get the, uh, well, I could use that attachment for the back. Yeah, I won't have to buy anything. Maybe I'll just take that sling off and stick it on this rifle. But it works. Really sweet trigger on it. So... That's about it. Alright guys, just wanted to show off my my first AR-15 build. It's kind of addictive. I got some leftover parts from that build, so I don't know. I might start building another one. Maybe about six months I'll start on another one. But uh, I really like this one. I like, like, like I said, the, the weight. I mean, I, I wanted something really lightweight for an AR tired of uh, my other AR is too heavy and uh, I might, I might uh, carry this around in Tennessee go on a walk in the woods I'll grab this or my SKS one or the other Let's see what happens but uh, yeah I like it I like it oh and I've got the uh, custom charging handle which is right here it's got the uh, oversized lever on there there she is guys hope everyone's having a great Sunday afternoon I'm done work unless my phone rings hopefully I don't have to go back out been working seven days a week. Uh, I did go fishing Thursday, which was great. We caught a couple 
uh, caught some real big fish. I caught a 50 pound amberjack. That thing kicked my ass. My back hurt for two days after reeling in that bad boy. <laughs> Those things were like, it's like reeling in a Volkswagen, man. And we caught a uh, 34 pound snowy grouper. Uh, about seven mahi mahi, smaller ones. And we caught um, three skipjack tunas. So that was pretty cool. I, it was good to get out on a boat. I sold my boat years ago to, to put the money into my my land in Tennessee, so I really don't get to go go fishing much anymore, so that was pretty cool. Um, I know the owner of the boat, he invited me on it again. That was that, if anyone remembers, that was that same boat, uh, same video that I did before on that boat that I went on. Alright guys, let's shut this video off, it's starting to get a little long. See you later.